Hi there, welcome back for another Transformers toy review. Kind of carrying on the theme of doing things a little bit different, reviewing some old things that um, perhaps have been around for a little while. And I was just kind of going through my display, rearranging some things and came across uh, Grimlock from the animated series and thought uh, we'd take a look at him. I just wanted to share him because he's a, a pretty cool toy to take a look at. I've also been re-watching, well actually I say re-watching, it's not quite true. I've been watching the Transformers animated series. I've watched some of it previously but um, only probably a few episodes from the first season so I'm watching a lot of this for the first time. And uh, obviously I know about the character Grimlock. Um, in the animated series how he kind of comes about really is a bit like in the um, original one. He is kind of created by um, a group of Transformers um, but he's kind of created by the um, Megatron really initially. Um, basically the one of the human characters in it who first discovered Megatron after he um, after the Autobots and Decepticons crashed he discovered his head and basically he's a scientist and he ended up kind of reverse engineering all this technology and he's got this uh, big tech company and um, once the kind of Autobots come into it um, he kind of I think he kind of realizes you know they're obviously related but um, Megatron at some point comes back online I think and uh, he kind of cons him um, and gets him kind of building a body for him and part of that initially was um, Megatron helping him build these dinosaurs basically which then turned into the Dinobots. Um, you don't get all of them in the series so you just get Grimlock, uh, uh, Slag and Swoop and Grimlock really so far from what I've seen watching it is the only one really that talks and gives a lot of personality behind it. His personality is very similar to the one that you see in the original cartoon series. He's very much me, Grimlock, uh, that kind of personality. There's a He does have a few kind of fallings out and fights with um, Optimus Prime. There's one good one where he has a bit of a, a fight over uh, Black Arachnia, um, which is quite funny. And um, Prowl seems to be the closest one to him in this series. So Prowl's one of the ones who's um, kind of a bit more connected to nature. Anyway, so here he is in his kind of dino mode. And uh, he's very cool looking. He's, you know, you've still got the, the essence of the original. Um, he's got this little button up here, which kind of, he's got like a, almost like a metal bucket mouth here that, opens up. He's got loads of light piping here, which is nice. Some uh, great gold paint and uh, burgundy. Also got symbol on the side here and the same sort of colour scheme that runs throughout. You turn around here. He's got these little arms here um, that kind of move in. Uh, they didn't really do a lot apart from that. As mentioned, the head moves that way, but it doesn't articulate other than that. And there's loads of articulation in the legs. So they spin all the way around and out and in. Uh, you get these bits here. They move. Oh, the, this bit's just popped out here. But uh, they move forward and back there as well. So you get a fair bit of motion here. The claws move. And there's articulation there as well. So you can get him in some kind of quite wide poses. You can look him up or down you can kind of be sniffing around the ground for something um, and he'll still if I get him right he still will kind of stand up so you know that's just his feet there so he's quite a well balanced figure um, he's quite open in this mode in this section here um, I haven't seen anywhere where you can pop he's got this great big sword but I can't see anywhere to put it um, it looks like it you think it should slot in somewhere but it doesn't seem to slot in anywhere um, from what I can see um, if anyone knows any different then uh, please let me know because I'm probably gonna 
have him on display in his dyno mode, I think. Um, so it'd be good to know where to pop the sword, otherwise I'll just have to pop it off to the side. Yeah, so he's a good looking dyno mode, I reckon. Um, you can see some of the bits underneath here. And he's fairly easy to transform, though it is, it is quite a cool transformation, really. Um, these bits kind of unplug from back here um, and underneath here. So it's quite easy to flip backwards and forwards. Um, I don't know if these bits clip into the side here. Uh, and these bits kind of come around to the back here, like that. And you can straighten out his legs. Uh, this bit kind of comes back all in one and then you kind of push this bit up as well like that and then I think this bit all kind of comes up into this space here and these bits are ah, these bits close in in around here as well to kind of hide that and the claws end up being his kind of arms in robot mode which end up getting kind of turned around I'll just adjust the camera a second so you can see the top of him so there he is and uh, again you've got the sword here the sword is really nice it's this kind of orange translucent plastic and it's got painted black and gold on it which fades up towards the top it looks as if there is like a gimmick which there's a spring in it and it looks like there's moving pieces in here so I think this is supposed to kind of shoot out and bits come off of it but um, it doesn't look as if mine's working um, but it does look as if it does something and then it's a bit of a masterpiece sort of holding it kind of plugs into these bits here and then he holds it like that um, yeah it's quite cool really that's him all done uh, this front piece is all painted you've got this translucent piece which is very reminiscent of the original figure Again, his arms rotate all the way around. Um, the arms bend around here. I don't know if you have to... These bits move around here. Um, and you get movement here as well. Um, you do get waist articulation as well. That goes all the way around. The legs go up to about there. Out to there. Out to the side. You do get articulation out that way as well. Um, and inwards a little bit as well, and the feet, yeah, good, that goes all the way back there, like that as well. Uh, and he stands up pretty nicely. The head rotates around, and he's got this great big jaw on him, um, which is a bit of a, a new thing. It's a bit uh, a little bit different from the original figure. Um, but I quite, quite like that and it's got lots of light piping in the back there as well but uh, yeah I think in either mode he's definitely got a presence on the shelf uh, just bring him alongside uh, green light who I've recently reviewed so she's a deluxe so he is kind of like a Voyager size figure and uh, he's pretty good quality really um, you know I've only really just recently got into the animated figures and the series um, after sort of missing it first time round. But uh, I've got to say I'm a big fan of the cartoon series and the figures are really well articulated and um, of good quality. And they're just something a little bit different and they're quite just fun to play with. So, you know, if you do see one on eBay or you know Facebook or anything else like that, um, yeah, definitely recommend you trying to pick this guy up. And if you're interested, I'll um, pop on reviews of the other Dinobots as well if you want to look at them. Um, I've also picked up Starscream, uh, Prowl as well, so I might do reviews of those. Uh, let me know what you think. Anyway, that's it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching again. And as always, stay safe. Bye bye for now. Just a, a real quick update. I managed to work out how to do this gimmick. If you turn, if you put it in his right hand and turn it, 
there's a little thing in this hand which when you turn it clicks in and activates the gimmick and then you get uh, the sword with all the bits come out which is a quite cool thing and then if you want to pop it back just pop it back into there like so and that's it all done anyway that's it guys stay safe bye bye